Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 24th, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Check out here the last 48 hours on our sun as we saw two M-class solar flares blasting off from the southern sunspot region. You're going to see that flash right there in the last few frames. Having a look here at the last 48 hours incoming, we do have active region in the northern hemisphere getting ready for an earth-facing view and no other major sunspots turning in. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing, not much to talk about here. Plasma filaments dancing around there, getting ready to rip away or fall back into Earth or sorry, into our star. Having a look at multi-spectrum. The last 48 hours of events, we've seen two M-class solar flares. That was just a day, and they were elongated at that from the southern region sunspot. There are five active sunspot regions right now, Earth-facing. Having a look at 171 angstroms, and this is where we can see the coronal holes, which are cooled regions on our sun. Southern hemisphere, big blob, and as well, equatorial region of our star. Big blob, coronal hole. So that wind stream will be coming in shortly, but not before a glancing blow from a pretty large CME blast from that M-class solar flare that I just mentioned. Set to give us a glancing blow pretty quick, too. This was an accelerated coronal mass ejection. Having a look at the solar X-ray flux, as you can see, two M-class solar flares just in the past few hours. Solar proton flux definitely rising with this one. Geomagnetic activity is low right now. That is ahead of the coronal hole wind stream. Having a look at the DRAP absorption map, this is where the highest cosmic charge particle entry was. Right over the Pacific Rise, right here. Elongated right over Hawaii. Or not particularly, but right over the Pacific Ocean. Real-time solar wind sitting at 486 kilometers per second after being up to about 612 kilometers per second. That was last night. We had a pretty wild magnetosphere. Having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral. This CME blast is going to be coming in quick. Looks like the arrival date will be 26th into the 27th. So 48 hours from now, set to give us a glancing blow. We are that little yellow circle there. And there's that large CME blast. Having a look at the last two days' worth of images from SOHO, LASCO 2. Showing the last two days of CME events. I don't think this most latest CME event is being documented here just yet. But there are a couple there in the last few frames there. Don't know for sure if that is the one. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 35, very static, high energy. Power of 35, quality of 18, frequency max 7.9, and a power 21. Let's have a look at the earthquakes past 24 hours as we're sitting up over 200 earthquakes across the USGS map right now. And that is thanks to all this activity through Alaska. Look at this. The last 24 hours, 4.6 there, Graham, as well as 4.9 here, King Cove, Alaska, Aleutian Islands, towards the Rat Islands, 4.3, 4.4, and just recently there, that was the 4.6. Have a look at USGS. We're seeing a small earthquake swarm towards the Katmai volcano as well off the coast here. Here is the large Katmai volcano. 
ridge line just west of it, seeing a lot of minor activity. Largest through the region was a 4.0, but notable there, that is the summit lake of Katmai Volcano. So heads up Alaska, you could see a larger, shallower earthquake here to follow after all this activity. No deep earthquakes past 24 hours. Looking across the U.S., Freedom, Idaho, 3.3 and a 2.8. As well, a 4.1 here. Mexico, 4.2. Guatemala, 4.5 here. Sandy Ground, Village, Anguilla, 35 kilometer depth. South America, Chile, San Antonio de los Cobros. Argentina, 4.5 as well. Chile, seeing a 4.4. Earthquakes continue up into Turkey, Senkik 4.5, as well as Latakia 4.5, Tajikistan, Murgab at Tajikistan, seeing aftershocks through the region as well, northern Pakistan 4.1, 4.9 here, Lekit, Lekit, Indonesia 5.0, northern Mariana Islands, Mariana's Trench, Papua New Guinea 4.9, and no deep earthquakes here through the Tonga region, only 4.8 Kermadec. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Largest through Hawaii being 3.3. Definitely keeping an eye on Alaska. Have a look here at the last seven days for rumbles. Definitely seeing an increasing trend. Deep earthquakes all along the Aleutian Islands before these larger, shallower earthquakes. through the west ring of fire 6.3 there Indonesia yesterday 6.8 Murgab Tajikistan as well seeing increased activity here especially for deep earthquakes South America heads up North American plate and central region I think we got a larger shallow earthquake coming having a look here at Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery from around the world and as well noting out the most recent volcanoes getting updated. And there's not many. We have, I believe, approximately 15 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet right now, which is extremely low to what it has been over the past couple years. But looking here, we've got Popocatépetl in Mexico, Reventador in Ecuador, And that's about it. I do believe we maybe saw Cotopaxi and Chirinkatan or Chikarachki, Kamchatka. Having a look here, satellite imagery, large system now moving into California, has brought already 40 centimeters of snow overnight, two meters of snow in some areas of the Sierra Nevada. Watch for a lot of snow to fall here the next couple days. Strong system. Heading in from the Central Pacific as well. Going to be mixing things up here for the long-range forecast over the United States. Overlooking Australia, still lots of moisture. And as well, a low-pressure system south of you is going to bring some rain over the next little bit. Tropical Cyclone Inala and as well, Freddy are still alive. And then overlooking Europe and Africa, this system here. Headed straight from the south or North Atlantic, brought snow to Morocco. Having a look here at the weather forecast, low pressure system coming into California, going to bring some extreme weather to the United States Sunday into Monday before it scoots out to the Atlantic. Extreme cold conditions straight across Canada and central U.S., Pacific Northwest. Snow to continue pretty much widespread. Could see some heavy snowfall in southern Alberta. But look at the size of this system. Long-range forecast for the Atlantic provinces. Nova Scotia, BEI, and Newfoundland will be affected by this large low. As well, a pretty big low heading up into Iceland. It's going to bring in some pretty nasty snow totals as well. Heads up, United States. Going to see some wild weather this week. Overlooking South America. Africa, 
Still have Cyclone Freddy grinding through South Africa. South America, no major systems affecting you this week. Daily evaporation rains, that's about it. Long range forecast. Looks like Freddy trying to reform there off the east coast of Africa. Overlooking Europe. High pressure ridge building in over the UK the next couple days, keeping things northward and ushering them towards Greenland. Other than that, low pressure system sneaking into Eastern Europe, mostly a snow system for Russia. Overlooking Southeast Asia and the West Pacific. Big low heading into Kamchatka and the Bering Strait this week. No major typhoons or cyclones developing in this forecast. Stay tuned, things could change over the next couple days. Widespread moisture through Hawaii, high waves, high surf warning, and as well as strong winds. Now let's have a look at the snowfall totals here for the next few days, three days, five days. Looking at possible 175, almost 200 centimeters through parts of Sierra Nevada. Oregon is definitely going to get hit this week as well. 130 centimeters in some areas. Oh, this is all higher elevation, mind you. But definitely going to be a snowy and wintry week through the Pacific Northwest, as well as central United States, up into northeastern United States and Canada. 15 centimeters ranging to 2 feet in some areas. Almost 400 centimeters, just about 400 centimeters will be falling through the east coast of Greenland this week. Overlooking Europe. Nothing major to talk about here for snow. Higher elevations of snow. Possibly see two to three feet. Thanks everybody for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.